Hey Internet, it's Kevin. Here we are at the local Walmart and uh, we've got the new 12.3.6 update which includes now finally for the ultrasonic sensor versions of the Model 3, the new Park Assist with the great graphics. Here you can see the, the available uh, parking spots uh, here and here and I can just tap whichever one I want and uh, it makes that one the active one. Hit the start button and it will actually pull forward get the right angle and hopefully do this all in one move without having to uh, after reversing not have to then go back forward again to readjust but we'll see um, so far this has been working pretty good the graphics are fantastic it looks like yeah didn't quite turn sharp enough on that so it's probably gonna pull forward now be my guess yep but as you can see, it's handling it perfectly fine. And the graphics are pretty, pretty fantastic to see. Um, clearly, this has got some work to be done. It does it um, without any issues. But, um, you know, the fact that it had to do that kind of, you know, three step, you know, goes forward, then back, then forward again, and then back, um, you know, not great, uh, but not terrible. And um, and it's pretty slow, you know. If we're being honest, it's pretty slow. So if somebody's coming up behind you and they're gonna sit there and wait for you to do that, I don't think so. Uh, obviously, you're gonna turn that off, take over, and just manually pull into the spot and be done in five seconds, instead of taking you know 45 seconds to do the whole maneuver like what you just saw. But hey, it's it works. It can do it, and the graphics are fantastic. And the fact that it can do it at all, uh, it's just magic, you know. If you had told me that my car would, would park itself in a parking lot and show me a graphic on the screen and let me pick a parking spot to automatically park into. If you told me that when I was you know, a teenager or even in my 30s, I just thought you were crazy. Uh, I mean, that's you know, future high-tech stuff that, that uh, you see in Star Trek or, or Knight Rider or something like that back in the 80s and 90s and just didn't seem possible that we would see that in our lifetime. But here we are. Um, and, you know, this is only going to get better as they continue to feed uh, their AI supercomputer back at headquarters with more data and, um, and then push that down to the cars as the system begins to learn. Um, it may be that <clears throat> it requires hardware 4 to do it faster, better, more accurately, uh, more human-like. And, you know, my car here with hardware 3 just never gets a fully human-like uh, version of the, the park assist or the uh, self-parking auto park. But um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Um, the fact that I have it at all, I think is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please give this uh, video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe or follow uh, the channel. And uh, please put your comments down below. would love to hear from you on what you think about this basically baby steps new technology but you know getting there and hopefully we'll get better uh anyway thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one